This is going to be a tutorial on how to set up the integration between Zoho Books and Zoho CRM. And then once that's done, how you can actually invoice directly uh, from within the CRM so your employees can send estimates and invoice without actually having to log into Zoho Books. So we're just going to start up here in Settings. Um, so in the CRM, go to Settings. And then under Marketplace, you're going to want to click on Zoho. And if you scroll down, you're going to see the Zoho Financial Suite. And you just hit Set Up Now. It's going to talk about all the things you can do. I'm going to say get started. You need to choose your organization. In this case it's, case, it's Broken Pretzel Enterprises. And go ahead and click Next. And it's going to talk about all the various things you can do. Expense reporting, subscriptions, product. Uh, this is all for inventory, all the various things. I'm just going to go ahead and set one of these up right now, which is just invoices and estimates and sales orders and purchase orders. Um, you'll need to go ahead and do the various sync, sync settings. So you'll need to set this up for vendors. Uh, you really don't have to do much. You can just kind of go up here and choose your view, which I'm going to say is all vendors. And instead of clone, you want to go to overwrite. So if you've got something in books and it's in CRM, you want them basically just to overwrite so that they're, they're together. Then go ahead and click Done. Um, and that's going to be set up. And then you want to do your uh, sync settings for products. Again, that's going to come up. And uh, you're going to clone those and click Done. And now everything is good to go. Now, one of the things you can do, you might notice when you set up the base CRM, is you actually have all of these other modules because some people don't have Zoho Books. They just have the CRM. So you have an invoice and you have an estimates and you have a quotes. I recommend you hide them because you don't need them anymore. Go ahead and click Save. You can always put them back. Pretty easy to do. And away you go. And now it's all set up, and you've got a sync in progress. And this wants to let you, then you get a little notification that it's been successfully done. So everything is successful, and the entire synchronization is done. So now, if I actually go into the CRM, and I'll go to Zanata Consulting here, um, you'll get a new related list over on the side called Zoho Finance. And if you go into Zoho Finance, and you say, I want to do a new estimate, new sales order, a new invoice, you can do them all from here. I'm going to go ahead and do an invoice. It's going to give you the base information, kind of put in whatever you want. I've got an example widget here at $100. Uh, you can go ahead and make it due upon receipt. All the basic things you would see in Zoho Books, you can go ahead and do that. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll save that. And now I'm going to quickly go over to Zoho Books here, and I'm going to go into Invoices. And let's go ahead and look at Drafts. And you'll see that that, uh, that draft invoice is there and ready to go. Uh, you also would have this ability. The person could go ahead and send it by mail. They could just go ahead and mark it as sent if that's what they wanted to do. Now you can see it's marked as sent, which means it would be an active invoice. So if I go back to Zoho Books now and I go look at my um, unpaid invoices, the Zanat has been moved there. It's due in 60 days. It's ready to go. That's all there is. You also have a lot of permissions that you can set on the back end of Zoho Books to make sure that Basically, your employees only have access to see those things. They can never log into books, see your bank balances, and such. I hope that's helpful. Uh, thank you for listening.